WikiLeaks. Ted Cruz's father is linked to the JFK assassination has been confirmed. According to a WikiLeaks release on Saturday, Ted Cruz's father, Rafael Cruz, has proven ties to Cuban militants who made their way into Texas and infiltrated the Kennedy camp. Two members of the Klan, who was very close to Castro, were hired assassins tasked with murdering JFK. DNC leaked Trump may have been right about Ted Cruz, father and JFK killer. Comms head Louis Morand. Well, I will note that Cruz's father was in fact a militant who fought the Batista regime, which Fidel Castro defeated. And it would not be unusual for him to be caught up in the ugly web of Cuban militants with questionable histories. I met some Cubans here in Miami, and I can tell you this. If there's only one issue that the Cuban, Miami Cubans and the Fidel Castro Cubans who, who don't like each other, there's only one thing that they really agree on is they both hate JFK. The Miami Cubans feel like they were betrayed by JFK because they sent in uh, a lot of their families from Miami they had wanted to retake Cuba and they had planned this mission with JFK to do it at the very last moment we sent them in thinking they were going to get air support they never got air support and they all died Miami Cubans have not forgot that about JFK the Fidel Cubans of course they didn't like JFK either His father, Ted Cruz, you know, he was this, uh, I imagine, a great speaking orator like his son. So I feel like he was the type of person who was like inspiring people behind the scenes to do things for them. So it was a kind of an interesting factor. Did he motivate? Did he conspire to go ahead with this? Likely because I'm pretty sure that he didn't like JFK either. That's safe to say, right? If they're having lunch together, it'll be Harry Oswald. He probably didn't like JFK. So it would not be unusual for him to be caught up in the ugly web of the Cuban militants with questionable histories. Just look at the cabinet in the basement. One of the Watergate burglars was Cuban, with plenty of other examples, including a guy who blew up a plane and given safe refugee in Texas, not to mention those who were involved in the ugly Central American Wars in the 80s. This is what Trump said one day before the WikiLeaks dump. Ted Cruz and Donald Trump are back to trading insults. It's almost like they're unaware the primary is over, Mark Thompson. Donald Trump on Friday defended his attacks on Senator Ted Cruz's father, again linking him to Lee Harvey Oswald, the man who assassinated President John F. Kennedy in 1963. There was a picture on the front page of the National Enquirer which does have credibility and they are not going to do pictures like that because they get sued for a lot of money if things are wrong, okay? Trump said at the morning press conference in Cleveland. The GOP presidential nominee added that he merely pointed out that the picture was published and that he did not know nor imply that Cruz's dad had anything to do with the assassination of John F. Kennedy. They just hung out together. So they have this picture, and it's an old picture, having breakfast with Lee Harvey Oswald. Now I'm not saying anything, said Trump. This has nothing to do with me. Except I might have pointed it out, but it had nothing to do with me. I have no control over anything. I might have pointed out. I think it's important to point out that early on when the Castro Revolution began, the La Cubans, they thought it was a nationalistic thing, so they went along with it. And after they figured out he wasn't going to hold re-elections, that's when they realized, you know, this is going too far. He plans to stay here. They would actually set the fields on fire. They would use animals. They wouldn't use a dog. Because the dog is smart enough when it's on fire that it would actually stop, try to roll down, roll over, 
you know, like back and forth like they tell you in a fire drill. They would actually use cats to run through a field to set the whole fields on fire, the sugar cane.